Everyone keeps telling me to go to this place, Mammoth Espresso, and that's what I'm gonna do this morning. I don't know anything about them. I don't know where they are. I'm pulling up on my map right now, and hopefully we're gonna have some awesome coffee, meet some cool people. Yeah, I had to buzz back from Mammoth because I stole the car. Mammoth's really cool. It's owned by this dude named Jonathan, who I'd actually talked to before in some really dark days for me. He was getting something going. Now he's got it going. It's super awesome. It's inside this little business complex, but he's got a really good storefront. And I love sitting at bars that are street facing and just staring out the window. It's like one of my favorite things to do. And they do everything made to order, so nothing's made before you go in. So there's no batch brew, but he also extends that, so there's no batch like cold brew. If you want cold brew, he does a flash chill and he does it on the fly so you can pick a bunch of different coffees to have for cold brew it's not just one coffee for cold brew couldn't film too much there because i had to run back but we'll see what's in store for the rest of the day but mammoth espresso super cool <laughs> this is the house that the haunted mansion at disneyland was modeled after tree watering where are you guys going what's up, what's up? What's up, geography? Oh, you're like those people who study psychology because they're insane. This is ridiculous. We are gonna take a swamp tour on a little boat. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah. You don't want to go on a swamp tour? No, I thought I could picture We're going on a swamp tour. Don't smile. That was really cool. It's the last day in New Orleans. Headed back to High Vault because it's the closest shop. We gotta pack up, get out of the Airbnb. Got coffee for everybody. The dog is awesome. We went by Stein's yesterday and it was just closing. Where are you from? New Orleans, I'm from Oh, here. you're from here? Oh, yeah. okay. I'm about to move though, like he's kicking everybody out of here. He's kind of airbnb in the whole place. Oh, the whole thing? Oh, that's kind of too bad. Yeah, we're going back to California though. I was in California. Hey, bro. What's up? You like coffee? <laughs> yeah. We're at some old French colonial house that was apparently in Interview with the Vampire, and we're out on the deck, and it's super janky, and it feels like it's gonna fall down. You want it like this? Yeah. I'll do it this way. I'll do it this way. Okay. She wants you to be happy. No, I want your wife to be happy. I'll see you guys. Plantation. We're taking a tour. Pretty sure this is the one they filmed Django at some site. No, I think that was. Lots of oak trees. Lots of big trees. Did you get your photo? Did you get your photo? I did this. Gas station. Nothing. 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 Okay, New Orleans was freaking insane. It was super crazy. Definitely worth visiting. I'm at the cafe. I just recorded a podcast and I'm kind of cleaning up, but I wanted to recap the trip because it was really, really interesting. So that city is unlike any other city that I have ever seen, like 
ever. Totally unique experience. I've been to a lot of big cities, and this one has just got its own little flavor. Um, really liked it. I definitely couldn't live there, not because of the weather or anything. It's just a different, interesting, just a different vibe than I think my daily could handle. That was kind of why we ended up there was we wanted to take a trip somewhere totally different, totally unique, and also somewhere that we didn't really know too much about. Now it's amazing, like the old Spanish architecture, which I didn't realize it was Spanish. I thought it was mostly French, but most of the French stuff burned down. So there is some French architecture left, but it's mostly Spanish. I didn't film too much at the coffee shop, so a lot of the coffee edits are really quick, and that's for a couple of reasons. One, it was a trip with family and friends, so it wasn't really a coffee crawl, so I didn't want to get too caught up into just shoving my camera into the coffee situation and not hanging out with the homies. My friends all love coffee, but it can be kind of crazy when like all you're doing is playing with coffee. And then the second thing was, I didn't really know a lot of the people that were there. So I didn't want to just come in, start throwing the camera everywhere and not get a chance to kind of chat with the homies. So it's much more fun for me to actually engage with people the first couple times I meet them. And I just feel like, I don't know, there's something corny about just going in, introducing yourself really quickly and then starting to film everything. So I tried to just like kind of hang and just like ask, can I take a couple pictures? Is it cool? Can I get a little film? And everyone was really nice. Everyone was cool. The coffee was really, really good. Overall, I had really amazing coffees. A lot of counterculture, had some ruby, a lot of different stuff going on, but the shops there are doing a really awesome job. Also, shout out to Humidity Skate Shop. I just had really good vibes with the shop. They're super tight, OG. Also, question, I've been toying with the idea of making some really short videos, like three minutes kind of discussing one particular like snippet of a topic about coffee, like a little helpful hint. And that's actually kind of what the Extract Everything series was supposed to be. And it kind of just evolved into this like full blown tutorial situation. But let me know if you'd be down to watch just like a really short video of just taking a topic and just kind of riffing on it for a while. Cause I think I have some things up here that could be useful that don't necessarily warrant like a whole tutorial. So I'd love to know what you think. I think that's it. I'm gonna pack up this stuff. I've been staying up way too late every night. So I'm gonna try to get some sleep and I'll see you guys next week. So stay dialed and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.